It can be more than just a little tempting to munch on a big bag of chips or a box of cookies while watching the game or a movie, but when snacking turns to mindless eating, you can end up eating more than you intend. SSM Health family medicine physician and wellness coach Dr. Rupa Shah joins us this morning to help identify the differences between snacking and mindless eating. Now this might seem like an obvious question, but what is the difference between the two? And can it have a beneficial place in your overall diet versus mindless eating? Can snacking be something people can feel still good about? Yeah, so I mean, it is a very fine difference. Snacking really is sort of that very intense intentional eating, you know that at one or two in the afternoon, you're gonna get hungry, you're gonna wanna snack. Mindless eating, on the other hand, is, you know, just, it's mindless, <laughs> right? You can sit down, you can eat a bag of chips just because you were stressed, you were tired, you were irritable, you were having a bad day. Some people um, say they eat when they're bored, right? That Could yeah, that be a part of, A lot of boredom eating, you yep. know? And also, you know, unfortunately, there are folks that really do lose control of their eating, so mindless eating can also almost kind of um, go into like binge eating disorder. Mm. So if you think you are losing control or having guilt over how much you eat, um, you know, it might be time to talk to your doctor about that too. Yeah, and, and how can we be more mindful about snacking? Any good tips out there? Yeah, so I think, of course, it, this always comes down to planning. So knowing that, yes, I'm if I'm working from home or I'm at the office that around two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to be hungry. So fill your pantry with snacks that are nutritious um, for you. So things that have fiber, uh, protein, those are the things you want to snack on because when we snack on those foods, it really actually suppresses our hunger hormone called ghrelin much longer than if we eat things that have a lot of high carbohydrates or of course just unprocessed, you know, foods and sugars and things like that. So when you suppress that ghrelin hormone longer, you'll be less likely to become hungry quickly again. Right. Um, and that's really what we want is to just kind of feel sated after we have a nice healthy snack. And satisfied. And you satisfied, yes that right out. Okay, exactly. that's great to know. Now, where else can people find you, Dr. Shaw? So they can find me on Instagram at wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right, sounds Thank good. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our thanks to Dr. Shaw, as always, for her insights. Okay, still ahead this morning, the race for Madison mayor has now prompted a primary. We've got the latest on that coming up. Congratulations! It's a new sewing machine from the Electric Needle. It's more accurate than older models and has hassle-free threading. Plus, it comes with free unlimited owner's lessons. Find sewing success at the Electric Needle. Frontage Road off Seminole Highway. Okay, everyone, our mission is complete balanced nutrition. Together, we support immune function, supply fuel for immune cells, and sustain tissue health. Ensure with 25 vitamins and minerals, and ensure complete with 30 grams of protein. to their dreams. And now you can save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto. American Family Insurance. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. Wow, it's been 38 years since we were here. Back then, I could barely afford a hostel. I'm glad we invested for the long term with Vanguard. And now we're back here again. No jobs, no kids, just us. And our advisors preparing us for what lies ahead. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, giving you confidence throughout today's longer retirement. That's the value of ownership. With an Invisalign smile, everything clicks. And that class reunion becomes... Is that Anna? Invis is the number one doctor-recommended clear aligner and more predictable results. Invisalign. 
Congratulations! It's a new sewing machine from the Electric Needle. It's more accurate than older models and has hassle-free threading. Plus, it comes with free unlimited owner's lessons. Find sewing success at the Electric Needle. Frontage Road off Seminole Highway. News 3 Now is always on. Get the Channel 3000 app, activate the push alerts, and we will send you breaking news, traffic, and weather alerts as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Be prepared for winter weather. Trust the First Warn Weather Team to give you clear, timely, and accurate info. Keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Your certified, most accurate team. First Warn Weather. Only on News 3 Now. Right now, a local hockey team is mourning the loss of a key player who never stepped foot on the ice. Also, a new lease on life for a few bald eagles. What led to their release? And those pesky clouds out there once again will limit the sunshine, but hopefully we'll see some today. I'll time that out along with how warm we'll get and when we'll actually see the next chance of rain. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us here on this Sunday. I'm Shane Hogan. We've got a lot to get to this morning, but we're going to start with a check on our weather. Greg, you've been tracking kind of these mild conditions the last few days. When's the next chance we're going to see maybe some rain or snow in our area? Well, we're going to see some waves, but the fortunate thing is with this west-east pattern going on, a lot of them weaken when they hit us. So we don't see much of a wave in precipitation, but mild, mild conditions we do have. Right now, we've had still the low clouds going on, but we still have some higher clouds. You can see the blue, green. That's from a system that's to the south, so we have a little bit of high clouds. But overall, it's really the low stratus clouds that still are stuck in our area. Overall, as you can see, a little bit clear as you go further west, but overall, we're going to be dealing with that through the morning hours we saw. As we look at visibility, oops, let's go back there one second. Visibility, we do have some dense areas, especially towards eastern Iowa and then northern Illinois. So otherwise, just low cloud cover with some visibility issues here and there. But like I said, it's just a returning of a stratus inversion layer that we still have overhead. We have a dense fog advisory out for those areas in eastern Iowa to about noon. We'll see patches of lower visibility here, but that's more where it's widespread, at least this morning or right now. Temperatures right now. Lower 20, similar to what we saw yesterday. Areas to the west, like Rochester and those, a few more clouds, so they were above zero. Unlike yesterday, we were in the single digits across. We're in the teens now, too. So overall, once again, pretty typical for July, uh, January to see these conditions, too. So what's your forecast? Here's a little Jeopardy thing as we zoom back in. We can go back to 400 bucks here. We'll see what it is. For Madison, we're looking at about 32, a few degrees above average. But once again, more sun in the afternoon. And look at the arcade game. Well, this is for lacrosse. Pretty good, we're gonna have more sun up there, but once again, 28 degrees for a high, which once again is right where we should be. But like I said, we're gonna see more clouds this week and our next chance of rain, and then followed by some mild temperatures. I'll time all that and explain that a bit later in the broadcast. Okay, looking forward to it. Thank you, Greg. An area hockey team is mourning a man described as the ultimate hockey dad and everyone's best friend after he suddenly died just over a week ago. Our Andrew Bancher shares how the team is remembering their best teammate. When it comes to Eric Feinstein, everybody knows one thing. He is the ultimate hockey dad. And he was the loudest dad in the stands. He had his video camera at every game. He was so proud of his kids. Let's go! You'd always hear, like, you walk into the rink and he's fired up. Let's go! Just like this. The man described as larger than life as everybody's best friend died suddenly on December 29th. Eric's 16-year-old son, Caden, played in the Culver's Cup semifinal the next day. He had four goals and three assists in one game. It was a very special night under just heartbreaking circumstances. Eric was a diehard Bears fan, and he would be so mad at me, but it was a Brett Favre moment. It was like when Brett Favre came out, played the game after his dad passed away. I think Eric was there. At that game and at Eric's 13-year-old son Carson's game the next day, bitter rivals came together for something bigger than sports, for a man bigger than life. And all the families were here, and the Memorial team and West team came together, and everyone had green on. We had a mom from Memorial handing out Spartan sweatshirts. I put one on, I graduated from West, and the only person I would wear one for is Eric. The entire Memorial and West teams came to both Caden and Carson's games in the days following their father's death. Losing someone with so much life is painful, but remembering Eric leaves a smile on your face. He made everybody feel special, he made everybody feel important, 
and he laughed with everyone. I don't know a time that I was with him that we didn't laugh. In Madison, Andrew Vanstra, News 3 Now. Memorial and West High Schools play one more time this year, during which both teams will compete to sell the most cookies, all the proceeds going to the Feinstein family. You can also donate to the GoFundMe page set up for them in our web story on channel3000.com. A suburban Chicago college postponed two men's basketball games after a rigorous workout sent five players to a hospital. Concordia University of Chicago also temporarily removed head coach Steve Kohler. This all comes after a particularly hard and intense workout that some within the team believe was a punishment for missing curfew after a loss at a game in California. The NCAA has declined to comment. The team was scheduled to play yesterday, but that game was postponed. For the second time this winter, Governor Evers has declared an energy emergency. By declaring this emergency, it allows for swift and efficient delivery of heating fuel. Fuel suppliers are provided a 30-day waiver to help them catch up from weather-related delays. It will also allow for out-of-state utility restoration workers to arrive faster. Weeks of severe winter weather have impacted the distribution of residential heating fuel, and the order will help expedite the delivery of these products. It's a race sure to stay in the spotlight as April comes closer, and now it's prompted a primary. Scott Kerr, a longtime city employee, has thrown his hat in the ring for Madison Mayor. He joins incumbent Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway and her challenger, former school board president Gloria Reyes. A top priority for him, though, is getting city streets in order. We had Vision Zero initiatives where we implemented as many things as we could to make pedestrian safety and traffic safety a priority. And now we are tearing out all the measures we put in for that to accommodate the bus rapid transit system. He says he would take a different approach to the bus rapid transit project and says he'd want to focus more on citizen feedback. He sat down with our Naomi Coles. You can hear more from him later this morning on For the Record. That's coming up at 1030. Well, it's too cold for Saturdays on the square, which is why the Dane County Farmers Market welcomed hundreds of shoppers to the Garver Feed Mill yesterday morning to enjoy the late winter market. It's the farmer's market just moved indoors. Vendors were happy to see their customers for the first time this year, selling all of your favorites, including honey, cheese, meats, and of course, fresh produce, with many vendors selling out quickly. Obviously, some things like vegetables that grow in hoop houses or greenhouses, there's just smaller um, quantities of those. So we definitely saw our veggies sell out, you know, within the first hour or two this morning. The market returns to the feed mill every Saturday until April 8th. Well, if there's a home improvement project you've been thinking about, you still have time to check out the Madison Home Expo Show. It's a great opportunity to speak with home remodelers, carpenters, and other design professionals to help you make that project become a reality. The show wraps up today at the Monona Terrace Convention Center. You can go check it out anytime between 10 and 5. Tickets cost 5 bucks, and anyone under 18 gets in for free. One, two, three. Four bald eagles were released back into the wild after being treated at the Raptor Education Group. The nonprofit based in Antigua released two adult and two juvenile bald eagles along the shore of the Wisconsin River in Sauk City. Three of the four birds were being treated for lead poisoning, and one of the adult eagles had been in rehab since April. The founder and director of the group, Marge Gibson, says birds being poisoned is a growing problem. Lead poisoning is all too common. It comes from lead ammunition in the case of eagles. Um, anything that's shot with lead ammunition, the lead fragments, and if there's uh, gut piles or there's um, animals that are left out where um, the, the food isn't harvested, um, an eagle is a scavenger. They like to pick up dead things. We have to become better stewards and uh, uh, understand that, you know, it's a, it's a real problem in our, in our environment. The group says they treat about 1,000 birds each year. Coming up this morning, the price for eggs continues to rise, how it's impacting local businesses. 
Did you know 50% of your body weight rests in the middle while you sleep? That's why Sealy's exclusive Posturepedic technology reinforces the center where you need it most. But don't take my word for it. Come to Denver Mattress and see for yourself. Plus, get a free $200 gift when you purchase select Sealy mattress sets. And rest easy knowing every mattress comes with our 365 night better sleep guarantee. Shop Sealy at Denver Mattress today. The easiest way to get the right mattress. All right, team. We got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. 4imprint. For certain. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Attention mothers, did you take Tylenol or other acetaminophen pain relieving products while pregnant? Recent evidence suggests children whose mothers took Tylenol while pregnant may be more likely to develop autism. Other acetaminophen products at risk include Excedrin, NyQuil, DayQuil, and other store brand pain relievers. Children with autism have a hard time interacting with others. Those on the spectrum usually begin exhibiting social symptoms by the time they're 8 to 10 months old. Call now for a free confidential consultation. Please call 800-379-7867. I'm a Vegas hotel. I know what you're thinking. It's cool. I don't want anything too serious either. Just a fun, spontaneous thing. I'm looking for someone who will let loose. Dress up a little. See a show. Order the steak and the lobster. Some people say I'm excessive, but who cares? I'm just looking for a Saturday to remember and a Sunday by the pool. Think you can keep up? Yeah, we're still dealing with low clouds out there. A little bit of high clouds out there also, but pretty much the low clouds, some stratus, and some fog too as you look at satellite right now. You can see that. That's all pretty much low clouds. We do have a system that's passing to the south, but that's not providing much in the way of anything to speak of. If we zoom out, you can see the precipitation there in Illinois. A lot of that is staying well to the south. So it shouldn't be really a factor with us other than Friday, some high clouds. Right now, temperatures should warm up to about the upper 20s here, near 30 by this afternoon. More mid to upper 20s near La Crosse, low to mid 20s west of the cross. Once again, we'll get some areas may hit the freezing mark today, which would be expected, but overall a pretty typical January day with these temperatures that we're going to see here for most of the area. Otherwise, we're going to see temperatures if we zoom back out. It skipped ahead on me there, but we're going to see that going on as we go to future track, and then we'll also see more clouds going on and then more precipitation probably by Wednesday or Thursday, along with mild temperatures. That does include some areas that might hit 40 later this week. All right, thank you, Greg. The next time you head to the grocery store, you may find yourself hesitating to buy eggs. What used to be one of the cheapest kitchen staples has been growing expensive by the day. Over the last year, egg prices skyrocketed up 89%. News 8 Now's Jewess Rar spoke to a Holman home baker who says rising costs is affecting her business. Cupcake artistry owner Tiffany Rice makes nearly 2,000 cupcakes out of her home kitchen every week. But with the rising cost of eggs, these tasty treats become a little harder to swallow. It's the key ingredient to holding everything together. At least in Tiffany Rice's kitchen. 24 to 36 18 packs of eggs every week. The home baker spends nearly $170 a week on eggs. People purchase cupcakes several times a week and then I do cupcake orders for weddings, 
baby showers, birthday parties. But it wasn't always this way. For weeks, I haven't been able to get eggs there at all. So now I've just been buying them at the other place and paying what they are. The cost of this baking staple has gone through the roof. As every shopper knows, have increased. Over the last year, the Wisconsin Grocers Association President Brandon Schultz says a typical carton of eggs has jumped from less than $2 to, in some cases, more than 6 We simply don't have as many eggs that can be produced uh, to put on the shelves. There's a few culprits behind this price tag. <laughs> A global outbreak of the avian flu infected 58 million birds in the U.S. alone. So all the hens that are there in these production houses had to be euthanized. The nation's supply of eggs took a dive while demand continues to soar. Each of those steps is now more expensive for a variety of reasons. In August, Rice says she had no choice but to raise her prices. I just had to. The price was of everything was so expensive. The thought of purchasing a treat may sound sweet. My sales are down a little bit. They're not as willing and able to spend money on frivolous fun things like cupcakes every week. <laughs> For many people, it's just too expensive. Rice says she started to sell some baked items that require little to no eggs to help alleviate some of the bakery's grocery bill. But she's still hoping that those costs will lower soon. Reporting in Holman, Duesrar, News 8 Now. Experts say local eggs may be cheaper because they're easier to transport, but there's no telling when prices will drop. All right, still ahead this morning, we've got plenty more to get to, including the Packers' big game tonight. You're taking a live look over the Capitol, too. It's foggy out there. Be careful if you're heading out on the roads. Greg's got the full forecast after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Hey, are we going to fit? There you go. At American Family Insurance, we're here to carefully protect your dreams. All right, open your eyes. Welcome home. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. Get a quote or find an agent at AmFam.com. I'm a little old to count down the days, but my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year, so much fun. pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still be <laughs> free. But Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. So cozy. How many rooms are in there? Should we go check it out? Yeah. We get to stay here all weekend. When you stay at a Verbo, I call doing the door code. The host doesn't stay with you. It looks exactly like the picture. <laughs> because without privacy in your vacation home... It's a full log cabin, guys. It isn't really a vacation. by the fire. Oh. Is it? Oh, oh my God. God. Are we still on for three? When your team needs more space to work and eat... Carl, is that mackerel? No, it's a trout. <laughs> It matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. Hilton for the stay. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and we will send you local breaking news as it happens. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. We protect your house and your car because we know they're the launching pad to their dreams. And now you can save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto. American Family Insurance. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today.
Yeah, we're still dealing with this low-level inversion saturated air just towards the surface and these weak winds, which this is a recipe to keep this low stratus or the stratus clouds or fog in the area. And with that low sun angle of January, it, it it's really struggles to actually clear this out. So something we're going to have to deal with until we get actually some stronger wind flow. And we dealt with, and I said stratus, and that really is the lowest cloud deck that we're dealing with right now. You can get some precipitation from it. Could be flurry sprinkles. It depends on the temperature. But really, it's a stubborn one to really really get rid of sometimes, especially this time of year. Hopefully once we'll get to a couple days here later in the week, we'll start seeing more higher clouds that'll help mix up things a little bit. But in the meantime, we're going to be dealing with it. We have that weak system to the south that's passing through. We have another little weak wave. You can barely see some returns that go up to International Falls. That one's going to pass through tonight. This one is staying south, but you can see the overall split flow. Once these systems encounter the Intermount West, they kind of split one south piece to the north. So it keeps us fairly mild because the colder is locked to the north, but we really don't see any strong really systems come through with this too. And this looks to be continuing at least for most of the week too. So overall, we zoom in, the cloud cover should start to a little bit less of the afternoon this evening. Then we'll see that little wave that comes over tonight. That'll probably move more cloud cover once again tonight into tomorrow as we look in there. Zooming in, we'll see that cloud cover here, upper 30, 20s to near 30 we'll get this afternoon. Once we see that kind of clear out temporarily probably this evening, then we'll see the clouds as you see basically a vect in from west to east overhead. That'll spread over across tonight. Once again, that'll keep probably our temperatures not dipping more towards the upper teens, and then we'll probably climb a little bit towards morning just because of that. This is more high clouds, but still, once again, it's cloud cover. We go into Monday, we're going to start seeing more just high clouds instead of low clouds. So I think more sun definitely is a store for tomorrow, which should boost our temperatures up to mid to upper 30s for many locations, probably one of the warmer days we'll have. The system that we're watching then after Wednesday is coming once again from the south, but there's two pieces of it, one from the south, a piece from the north. Once again, the split flow going on. Most of it's going to stay to the south as we go through the pattern right here, but we could have a little bit of precipitation to the north with that one passing through. So weak, but still it looks like maybe up Wednesday night, Thursday, could be rain or snow depending on where this goes, but we're not seeing much in the way of rainfall or snowfall for either the locations with this one. So something to keep in mind of, but still overall mild conditions. And you can see from the 10 day, we may hit 40 for a couple locations here and maybe later on in the 10 day also. So mild conditions, there's that rain snow chance coming in for La Crosse on Thursday. Better chance that Madison will see some rain come with that system or snow than La Crosse. But once again, mild conditions, maybe a little accumulation snow with it, but nothing significant. And then you see towards the end of the weekend to next week, we got 40s probably with a wet system coming again. So this mild weather continues and really no sign that it's going to stop anytime soon. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. And again, that fog kind of an issue right now. It's a stubborn so. thing in January. Unfortunately, it's hard okay. to get rid of. All right. Thank you, Greg. Well, hey, it's next man up mentality for Badger men's basketball with leading scorer Tyler Wall out with an ankle injury. They would have had to make quick adjustments as they were on the road traveling to Champaign yesterday. The team rolled into the game with their best Big Ten start since the 2014-15 season and on a six game win streak. First half of this one with the Illini, not a lot of separation on the scoreboard, but a clutch up and in from Chucky, Chucky Hepburn gives Bucky the lead. And then minutes later, Jordan Davis gets the jumper and the foul to pad UW's slight lead. The Illini, though, start heating up close to halftime. Jaden Epps drains a go-ahead triple, and things didn't really get better in the second half. Overall, the Badgers, they were 28 of 64 from the field, only made eight threes in this one. The Badgers, they fall 79 to 69 as Illinois picks up its first conference win of the season. Badgers back home on Tuesday to host Michigan State. Well, it's been a while since the Badger women's hockey team played on their home ice, 48 days to be exact. Now they're back, ready to get back in the win column against a team they've already played this season. Badgers hosting eighth ranked Minnesota Duluth this weekend. The team split the first series back in the fall. Badgers knocking on the door early in the first period, struggling to bury one until Caroline Harvey fires from the blue line. Puck tips off Casey O'Brien for goal number one. That holds until the start of the second period when UMD ties things up. Badgers trying to get the go ahead, but Emma Soderberg is locked in between the pipes. Bulldogs end up taking the series opener three to one. Game two set for today at noon. 
And the Packers hit their stride at just the right time. If you think about it, at one point they were 4-8, and eight, being counted out each week. Playoff seemed like a long shot. Then December hit and the narrative got turned on its head. Now four straight wins, one more to be playoff bound. And as the regular season finale with the Lions gets closer, this team has preached about coming together this last month, staying positive, plus learning from all the challenges this season has brought them. So what's left? Well, finishing the job under the lights tonight at Lambeau. We got a lot of momentum. I think momentum is a really powerful thing. I think belief's a real powerful thing. And uh, I think everybody in the locker room and, you know, that's a part of this really believes that we can do it. And so, you know, I think we've been sticking together when times have been hard. There have been some games we've won and we've been down and come back. And, you know, different guys have made a bunch of plays throughout that. So it's really a big team effort. Kickoff tonight is set for 720. If you can't stay late enough, to watch the whole thing, we will have full coverage tomorrow on News 3 Now this morning. Going to be a big game. Well, make News 3 part of your weekly routine by downloading the Channel 3000 app for the latest headlines and weather conditions 24-7. And when we come back, a very timely reminder that could save lives. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. After driving cattle in the 1880s, hitting the hay could be a literal experience. But some lucky cowpokes got to sack out in a brand new Sealy mattress. And after 140 years, Sealy is still delivering a great night's sleep. That's why Denver Mattress is proud to offer the Sealy Posturepedic Plus Hybrid. With cool to touch covers, body hugging memory foams, and motion reducing coils, you'll sleep cooler and more comfortably all night long. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Sealy. All right, team, we got a big project coming up. And it all starts with ordering promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes it easy to get the logo products you're looking for. The latest in apparel, drinkware, bags, high-tech items, and more. You can be certain of getting it right at 4imprint.com. Come on out. I'm on it. 4imprint. For certain. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner. We got this, babe. That means that your dreams are ours, too. And our financial planning tools can help you reach them. That's the value of ownership. With an Invisalign smile, everything clicks. And that class reunion becomes... Is that Anna? Invis is the number one doctor-recommended clear aligner and more predictable results. Invisalign. Tomorrow morning, we'll have the biggest plays and some new reaction to tonight's high-stakes showdown between the Packers and the Lions. And it looks like the quiet and mild weather will continue into next week. Join us tomorrow morning between 4.30 and 7. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed. More than a half million dollars recovered. And we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. Finally this morning, after DeMar Hamlin's collapse during Monday Night Football, there's renewed focus on heart screenings for young athletes. But a Minnesota family who lost their son to the same issue back in 2015 is already working to prevent similar tragedies. WCCO's Alan Henry talks with the family and athletes about the impact of playing for Patrick. 
it's five minutes that could save you your whole life. Bailey McCudden went through her first Play for Patrick heart screen in 2018. She texts me from across the room and she says, Mom, my sheet says abnormal on the top. My sheet looks different than the girl next to me. The nurse that we spoke with said, well, I don't, you don't need to take her to the ER today, but she needs to be seen on Monday. Doctors discovered she had a rare genetic heart defect and became one of the hundreds of Minnesota teens helped by the Patrick Schoonover Heart Foundation. In 2014, Patrick died after scoring the first goal of a hockey game and suffering sudden cardiac arrest. Patrick would have benefited if he was had the ability to get a, uh, an echocardiogram, which would have shown the defects in his heart. Since his death, Patrick's family, through his foundation, have provided nearly 30 heart screens for young athletes. There's no shots, there's no poking. This is just information. Information that even a lot of adults wouldn't get. This is, this is such a privilege to be able to get that the Schoonovers have put out to the community. I'm so impressed and proud of the way that they've been able to turn in such a tragic event into something so important. While the Schoonovers say nothing will ever take away the pain of losing Patrick, they're proud of being able to turn it into a purpose. We have a choice. We could be bitter and feel sorry for ourselves or we could be better. And we really wanted to help. You know, if we find one, then we did our job, you know, we're, but we're finding many. You know, today's screen, we've, we've already had two significant finds of, of some heart defects that'll be uh, things that kids will have to keep an eye on. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. Just a, a great reminder here to get yourself tested, get yourself screened, and obviously in the wake of, of everything that's happened with DeMar Hamlin, we're uh, glad to hear that kids are out there being their own advocate and that DeMar's doing better. So. Good news there. Yep. Greg, how about one more check of the weather before we well, go? Well, it's kind of like a repeat of yesterday, too. We're just going to deal with that low clouds, but we'll see breakups this afternoon. Once again, some sun, upper 20s for lacrosse, pretty average for this time of year. Madison, low 30s, so once again, average low clouds will actually break up, maybe come back tonight, too. Something to keep in mind of mild conditions throughout this week, 40s possible. Dry conditions, really the next bench of chance of rain is going to be Wednesday night or likely Thursday for both locations. See La Crosse, 40 maybe on Wednesday. That chance of precipitation is not as impressive as maybe for Madison on the same day, but if long the extended, there is no really cold temperatures. Okay, Greg, thank you. Thanks for waking up with us. We'll see you next weekend.